What's up guys? Welcome back to The Educated Barfly. I like jumped the gun a little bit. Marius likes to go like this behind the camera to signal that I am allowed to talk. But today I kind of jumped the gun and, but he didn't like stop. Usually he stops and he's like, no, 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 you gotta do it again. But this time he just sort of like, okay, Leandro, just go ahead. All right, welcome to The Educated Barfly. Today we are going to do a drink that we should have done a long time ago. This has been a number one request over the last year, but we had to wait until the weather was getting cold. It is a staple winter drink. It is the hot toddy. Yay! So the hot toddy is a very old drink that was being served by the 1700s. It could have emerged before that, but in history, not a lot of people were writing down the history of cocktails. They weren't very good about it, so it could have emerged before that. But we know that by the 1700s, it is actually being recorded and we can track it back, we can track it back or trace it. I guess you track an animal, you trace history, right? So we trace it back to there. Um, it is commonly believed to have emerged in Scotland uh, sometime around the 1700s, late 1600s. Um, and nobody really knows why it's called a hot toddy. Um, there are a couple theories though. The first theory is that a poet named Alan Ramsey uh, published a poem called the Morning Interview in 1781, and that references tea being made from water from the Todian Spring, also known as Todd's Well. So the Todian Spring was the main water source in Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, and so, I don't know, I, I could imagine, Marius was kind of like, where would you get toddy from Todian or from Todd's Well? It doesn't make any sense, but I kind of feel like, you know, people in Great Britain have, like they, that's, toddy seems like a very, kind of Scottish or English kind of way of shortening a a a word. Don't you think? I mean, I, that seems like that that comes from that part of the world, I would, I would think. Yes, but you're kind of, you're, you're skipping ahead here because there's another theory. Yes, there is another theory. I, I uh, am not two. really skipping ahead, but there is another kinda, theory that... Of the two, the second one seems more likely. That's why I was like, Okay, well, well here, but those. here's the thing. And now we're gonna get into a whole discussion about it because the second, here's the second one so you guys can be in on this too and then we can have a little, me and Mary's can have a little aside about it and you guys can listen to it. Uh, the second one is that, uh, the second theory is that Great Britain was doing trade with India at the time and the Indians had a drink called a toddy which uh, utilized palm tree sap. Now, I haven't been able to find like what this drink is whether it was served hot or cold other than just that it was a drink, it was alcoholic, it had palm tree sap. Palm tree sap is not used in our hot toddy these days. And, and, uh, and I just, it, it's like this, if the, if it's emerging in Scotland, were the Scottish doing trade with the Indians? Like, like now it's kind of switching, you know, cause Scotland is its own country. So now it's switching to the British and saying that the British invented it, even though it's commonly believed that the Scottish invented it and that it was commonly made with scotch to begin with. So what do you say to that? I mean, they're Mr. Smarty Pants. Yes, they're different countries, but they're still part of the Great Britain. They're they like are part of Great Britain, but that, but, like but we're, did, I mean, now we're getting into history that I don't know because just because England is doing, well, they're saying, they say, okay, the history that I read was that Great Britain was doing trade, meaning that it wasn't just England doing trade. Yeah, sure. Maybe the Scottish were also doing trade with the Indians. So that's possible. But you think that that's more likely because well, that, it's like not a, because it's called a toddy and the mess is called a toddy. Yeah, because then it's an actual word. Like, how Yeah, not to mention the fact that there is actually verifiable history that, um, that Great Britain took drinking um, rituals from India as well. So I guess you're right. I, I, okay, fine. You've convinced me. I'm going to go with uh, theory number two. But anyway, uh, we don't make it with scotch, although you can make it with scotch. You can actually make it with any, we can make it with any, any, any whiskey you want. This is a great drink. It's one of my absolute favorites, hands down favorite drinks. Um, and uh, we're gonna get into making it now because this has been you know, quite a lot of talking. So the first thing that I want to impress on you guys is this is a hot drink and it utilizes hot water. So what you wanna do is start with a cup with warm water in it, okay? You wanna warm the glass up because you don't wanna be pouring uh, hot your hot water into a cold glass. If you do that, then you're going to end up with a colder drink faster. So you wanna keep it as hot as possible. So I'm just gonna dump this water out, which has gotten my glass nice and hot. And then basically, which is very simple, we're gonna do half an ounce of honey syrup, right into the glass, half an ounce of lemon juice, and then, We're gonna do one and three quarters of an ounce. 
I'm gonna use bourbon today. I really like a bourbon hot toddy. Mostly when people think of hot toddies, they think of bourbon. You can do it with scotch and it is brilliant. You can do it with Irish whiskey and it's brilliant. Although I will say that if you do it with Irish whiskey, make sure you do it with a pot still Irish whiskey like Red Breast 12 or something. Uh, something that has a little weight to it because some Irish whiskeys can be kind of thin and you don't wanna then lengthen it with a bunch of water because you'll sort of wash out the flavors a little bit. And then we're just gonna add our, our uh, hot water. And then I like to just garnish with a little lemon wedge. Um, lemon wedges are something that I don't garnish with that often because I feel like if you have something that's perfectly balanced, why, then people's, their habit would be to squeeze this in. But for this particular drink, it's me, it's kind of sometimes nice to have um, a little like extra squeeze and make it a little bit more tart, you know, since we've kind of, you know, eat, we've made an equal amount of lemon and honey. Let's take a sip. Mm, there's nothing better than that. It's just nice and smooth. I mean, lemon and honey is something that you guys should be intimately familiar with. It is just tart, but the honey is, the honey is sweet, but kind of in a savory way. And it sort of balances out the lemon. You have, I used 100 proof uh, bourbon, so that it's like nice and big kind of bourbon uh, to it, and but it's nice and lengthened with water, so it's just very smooth and very wonderful and very comforting and just nice and warm. I love it so much. So there you have it, the hot toddy.